Greetings from Technobab.net. Here we are at the NVIDIA event at Turkey, Istanbul, and we are talking with NVIDIA. Can you please Hi. introduce yourself to our viewers? Yeah, please. sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Ben Barone from NVIDIA, and it's a pleasure to be here. Hi. Hello, Ben. Uh, thank you for inviting us here. So you have just introduced new RTX laptops. It was uh, introduced at CES, and we were at Las Vegas covering all the new laptop models, and now we have seen a lot of models through here. And what do you expect from RTX laptops? Uh, you are especially pointing out the laptops are getting thinner, yeah. and the thin laptop market is actually growing. I think, yeah, I think the, the nice thing is that now we have an RTX solution for every kind of user, yes. right? Whether you want a big desktop, a small form factor desktop, uh, a desktop replacement laptop, or yes. an on-the-go uh, on device for gaming and editing. I think, crucially, what we've seen over the past few years is a massive explosion in the uh, gaming laptop market. Yes. But I think what's, uh, what's been happening is that people have been buying gaming laptops. Yes. Whereas I think now, with the introduction of this new series, what you're seeing is laptops for gaming. Yes. So it sounds very similar, but the crucial difference is now with the advancements we have with RTX architecture, with the advancements that our partners are making yes. in their designs, in Optimus technology, you have laptops that can last up to eight hours on the road, which was never happened before for a gaming laptop. You have super slim and light laptops, and they're very, very powerful when you want to play games. Actually, there were advancements in Optimus Alternative uh, in laptops using only NVIDIA yes. discrete graphics solutions. And we have been seeing power use management uh, upgrades. Correct. Uh, new solutions, Whisper mode, new GeForce experience uh, solutions and experiences there. Are you uh, going to improve on that? Are there any new ideas uh, yeah. going on the workshop I about think, laptops? I think we're always looking to improve the experience for users. And I think Whisper mode is a great example. I think one of the the biggest uh, bits of feedback we received from gamers was I want, I want my laptop to be quieter yes. when I'm using it in certain locations. And I'm happy, if you can make it quieter, I'm happy for you to sacrifice some frame rate yes. to get me to a quieter level. And so we worked on that. And I think with an application like GeForce Experience, mm -hmm. it gives you the power to have that option. Yes. So you can have the quietness, you can have it super powerful as well. It's really up to the end user. And we're obviously always looking at the best ways to advance that. We're looking at ways to help manufacturers get longer battery life when they're, when they're, people are playing games yes. from battery life, for example, as well. So I think we're always looking at ways to improve that. And I think you're seeing the benefits of that in the new laptops. Yes. You're seeing better battery life. You're seeing... Uh, Better, uh, better temperatures, you're seeing better noise levels yes. as well. It's all getting better every day. So we are going at uh, all the directions at the same time. Yeah. At one point, we are power consumption uh, side, the mobile side, and the other side, performance side, Definitely. 144 hertz, laptop displays, yeah. tin bezels. Well, the displays especially, I'm not, I'm not sure if you've got to play on many laptops yet, but for me, one of the biggest, best things about these new gaming laptops is some of the displays are yes. absolutely beautiful, right? You're getting such crisp, quick movement. It's really a joy to play on. Me and one of my colleagues were discussing this uh, yes. over these past few weeks, that we're saying it's funny actually that now, now that you have the option to play on the go as well, yes. it's a very, it's amazing how much, how many more games I'm playing when I go traveling, for example, Especially because, traveling, because yeah. of what, because of what's available to me now. And I think it's, uh, it's great that users now don't have to compromise. Really? I think when you look at, say, five years ago, you had to make a compromise. The compromise was, if I want a laptop, yes. either the performance is much, much lower, or the size of the laptop is much, much bigger. Whereas now, that compromise is not there anymore. But there is CPU side, uh, heat side, and the cooling side. Mm -hmm. There are always new challenges. For example, uh, the new uh, lower nanometer processes enabled lower power consumption. Turing architecture and the architectures before that uh, actually improved the power consumption yes. on both desktop and laptop, mm -hmm. but 
On the other side, we have been increasing the performance quite much. Yeah. So they are balancing uh, them out. Some of the users are asking us that. Yeah. You are uh, that you are saying that they are doing better power consumption, but you are now uh, there is a bigger cooling, and I am at the same temperatures. They are saying I am not yeah. saying this on the GPU side only. Yeah. CPU, GPU, the so whole I, system. So I know. agree. I agree. When you talk about laptops, you have to think about the whole package. Yes. And I think the challenge. The challenge is a big one, but I believe that our partners do a fantastic job in meeting that challenge. And I, one thing I will say is that I think they do a great job of balancing all the components. Yes. And I believe one of the things you have seen with the introduction of the RTX laptops is for, compared to previous generations, where I would say when there was a new generation of laptops, yes. uh, the new designs all came when there was a new CPU, traditionally. Yes. Yes. Whereas now what you're seeing is people are moving the generation when you have a new GPU instead. And first of all, that shows how important GPUs are. Secondly, I believe it gives the partners the ability to balance their PCs very, very well. And I think you guys will see or will be reviewing a whole host of gaming laptops that are give a really a very, very well balanced in terms of acoustics, yes, thermal performance, uh, game performance, and obviously battery life as well. So. Some things uh, our viewers are wondering right now. I know you have been to a lot of interviews, but I'm going to just ask them uh, very shortly. Yeah. And I don't know if you can answer them, but we have seen uh, 80 model, 70 model, 2070, 2060. Can we expect 2050, 2050 Ti in the short time? Uh, because especially in Turkey markets, yeah. people uh, bought a lot of 1050 Ti yeah. models. And we have actually built a lot of PCs yeah. around 1050 Ti, 1060. We have actually built a 10, uh, 2060 PC. They're asking for something more uh, economically approachable, something more to, uh, you know, compete with the consoles in yeah. Turkey. Especially the game prices have gone up yeah. on that side. And I have seen some other thing I'm going to ask that too. You were especially uh, introducing new huge TV alternative gaming displays monitors and in your presentation there was especially a comparison with PlayStation 4 PS4 Pro on laptops, gaming yeah. console and yeah. laptops you said we are giving twice the power and we are doing this better why I haven't seen consoles shown in Nvidia presentations before that yeah and TV shows you want to move into the living room yeah so two questions actually okay. one Lower end cards, mm -hmm. are they coming? Mm -hmm. uh, lower end cards in the 20 series. And what are you doing for the living room? Okay, so they're, they're very good questions. Um, so I would say, let, let, let's start with lower end cards first. Yes. So I think when you look at any family that we introduce, any new architecture, of course. it takes us time to introduce all of the cards. So we like to make sure every card gets its own room mm -hmm. to kind of, uh, to kind of be a big deal yes. and, uh, and like to, like to get people excited. So we haven't finished by any means. I can't talk about new products um, or unannounced products. What I will say is that we uh, we want to very much make sure that we have a great great coverage of the entire family. And that goes from entry level yes. all the way through to the super high end. That's just so it, it doesn't change. So it doesn't change. We haven't finished yet. So the, I would. Uh, I would like uh, like wait to see what's coming. Just one more little bit. There are uh, a lot of talk about another 10 series, uh, 1060 mm. card. There are people reporting they have seen cards. There are people reporting they are coming right. an alternative GPU series without the uh, RTX features mm -hmm. and a GTX series. What do you? What, what's the official stance about Nvidia right now? So unfortunately, I can't talk about unannounced products. I know, but so I have to ask because uh, I, viewers are going to ask. Us. And like, I think it's always uh, <laughs> it's always exciting to look at speculation and read yes. about what's going on. I would say sit tight and wait and see, mm -hmm. and, and hopefully. Everything that we announce will surprise people, will excite people, and as I said, it's always our intent to make sure that we have a product for every single part of the yes. market and for every price point across both laptops and desktops yes, as well, and I'm confident we will continue to do that. I think to answer your other question that you okay. had about the living room and what we're doing in that space, I think uh, the BFGD screens, which are the big screens yes. that you're referring to, I believe... Uh, 
again, we've produced those of our partners and we showcased the HP, yes. uh, the HP Omen screen as an example. Um, because people have asked, I want a super big, super low latency yes. screen for my living room. Because I play games in my living room, I want to have that 4K, super low latency experience. So we're building products for the market. I would say, again, it's about providing options. And I would say RTX is about providing all of the different options. So you have, if you want to build a PC for a living room, yes. then hopefully we have an RTX solution that can do that for you. If you want a laptop, then hopefully we have a solution that can do that for yes. you as well. But I think interestingly, you picked up on, we compared laptops to PlayStation 4 Pro. Yes. And the reason we did that was a couple of reasons, actually. One, I think for a typical user that might buy a all-in-one laptop yes. that is used for the entertainment, is used for, say, editing, if they do video editing yes. or anything like that, if it's used for gaming, obviously, yes. if it's used for uh, on-the-go work. <clears throat> they might be the kind of user where space is a premium. Mm -hmm. So they might not want to have uh, separate devices. And so what we, what we want to do is make you realize that actually these devices are much more powerful than even the most powerful consoles available. So you are focusing on uh, GPU power first? and then productivity, as you have shown yeah, in 4K video editing. is super important as well. But you have I... Quadro series, you had GT series. We couldn't yes. do what we did in Quadro series, driver-wise, in yes. Adobe. For example, a video is either 8-bit or 10-bit. Yes. For, to enable 10-bit in Adobe, yeah. I had to use a Quadro, Quadro card. Yeah. Uh, for example, I installed a GTX, but it mm -hmm. couldn't be enabled for 10-bit. Uh, so, I think, so I think RTX does offer you more options, but I think we have to bear in mind that Quadros are brilliant for, mm -hmm. I would say, professional usage, right? I know that, but Whereas, we, are, we have a new segment right now. A new seg yeah, and new that, segments and are not I, just gamers and professionals, but gaming professionals are a new segment. And I think, right now. I think what, what you're seeing from the creator announcements we made, and there is, uh, there's, many, there's much more information to come out about that. I think yes. people will be very excited about what RTX laptops can offer them for the content creation side. There is some amazing stuff coming on that side, and I think what we, what we, what we showed you as examples yes. today with the 8K RED video editing, um, the dynamic AI usage was just the beginning of what we can do. And let's not forget, that wasn't just RTX, yes. it was also the use of CUDA cores, the use of AI. Um, I think there really is a, a, a fantastic world out there. There's quite a room to grow that I think is gonna be very, very exciting for that space over the next few months as well. So thank you for answering all these thank questions. Thank you very much. Starting day. You know, I know you have a lot of more questions, but we are going to do more follow-up videos for you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks a lot. See you. Thanks.